Hi, my name is Jonathan Hartley, I'm a developer at Resolver Systems, and this screencast is to demonstrate the results of the work we've been doing to allow our user spreadsheets to seamlessly call libraries like NumPy, SciPy, and BioPython. The problem with these libraries is they cannot usually be called from IonPython, since they all contain compiled C extensions. However, Resolver now includes a solution to that problem. Here's a spreadsheet to demonstrate this. It uses BioPython to compare subsections of different protein molecules, giving a measurement of how similarly they are shaped. It's fundamentally pretty simple. Strings of letters representing models from protein databank files are loaded into these two cells here. And here you specify the region of the molecules that you're interested in. These cells then extract the coordinates of those atoms to a pair of NumPy arrays. These are used as input parameters to the BioPython SVD superimposer object here, which provides methods to tell us how similar the two molecules being compared are. The output from the superimposer shows us the minimum root mean square offsets of the atoms in the two molecules, a measure of how similar their shapes are. We color the cell with a hue from red for bad matches to green for good ones. The superimposer also tells us what rotation and translation needs to be applied to most closely overlay the second molecule over the first. This rotation and translation can be visualized using PyMol, a molecular structure visualizer. Flipping between the two molecules, we can see the central shape that they have in common. That's great, as far as it goes. We have a .NET spreadsheet transparently using a number of different CPython extension types from NumPy and BioPython to do some moderately heavy-duty calculations, which produce reasonably interesting results. As always, Resolver makes it easy to use this calculation from outside the spreadsheet it resides in. Here's a second spreadsheet demonstrating this. We can run the first spreadsheet several times, passing in different molecules to be tested each time, and aggregate the results here. Here we specify an input directory and a filter to select several protein model files from that directory. Again, we specify the region and atoms we're interested in. This spreadsheet then repeatedly invokes the first spreadsheet to calculate the molecular match for each of these proteins. This makes it easy to see at a glance which one of several proteins has the most similar shape to a given molecule. Once you're happy that you found a good match, this transform button outputs a translated and rotated copy of each structure to the output directory. This translated structure can be loaded into PyMol to see what we've found. We can see a very close correspondence in the central U-shaped parts of each model. The differences are almost exclusively found in the peripheral bits at the end of each molecule. If you want to experiment with this yourself, a zipped folder containing this spreadsheet and supporting code is available on the Resolver Exchange at this URL. You'll need to have BioPython installed for Python 2.5. If you could imagine yourself using these features, please visit the forums or send us an email and tell us more. We're really keen to get feedback on this work and find out how we can make Resolver 1 even more useful.